Hey everybody, I am here on the Georgia-Florida state line. That water is the division between the two states. That's Florida over there. I'm on Georgia. I'm on the Georgia side. And this bridge is something that every time I've driven across has been very intriguing to me. It's not. It's really nothing to do with the bridge itself, although that bridge was built. In, I believe 1927 this is the st. Mary's River not far from the ocean if you look it's really marshy here the uh, probably if you go I don't know 10 miles maybe less you're in the ocean this is coastal southeast Georgia and at the, at the Florida border what's intriguing about this bridge and I'll get up on the roadside here in a few minutes and show you is that it is on highway 17 i think it's us highway 17. so highway 17 predates i-95 by a few years i think 17 was was made in somewhere around 1926 or about well the same time this bridge was made 26 27 and what's intriguing about this is every time i've driven across this bridge I think back to what it would be like as a kid. This was the main thoroughfare. This was the coastal highway. This was the highway that you took if you wanted to go south and you lived on the on the east coast. So if you lived in North Carolina and you want to go to Florida, you're going to take US 17 more than likely. They said that the traffic on this two-lane road was so bad. Just like the there's another main thoroughfare that was uh, used, and it's Highway 301. It's a it's about 40 miles inland from where I'm at here. We live on near, right near Highway 301. Same thing, two lane road. It was, it went down the middle of Georgia. Well, not the middle, but anyway, it was a little more inland than this road. But 17 was a road that everyone used to, to travel on. And what is, again, what intrigues me is the kids in the back of the station wagon when mom and dad wanted to take the kids to Disney World. In there in the back of the station wagon with no seat belts on you know just having a party um this was the bridge where they knew disney world wasn't that far away this when they cross this there's the florida welcome sign uh this was like the journey is almost over because we're almost here mom and dad would probably be so glad that they were almost there and uh just so many memories that, that people have traveling i remember as a kid uh, I-95 was completed in, around here in like 1977, if I'm if, or right around that day in Georgia. So 1977, you would still be traveling on US-17 prior to that. And uh, I can remember going down to Miami, Florida. I was a little kid. I don't. I think we must have took 17 um, uh, because I-95 wasn't completed down all the way in Florida yet, as far as my knowledge goes. But I remember traveling down to Miami and stopping at these little roadside uh stores they had the little coconuts that were carved into a face and just oranges and all these these neat neat memories that people had with the association of traveling down highway 17 coming into florida and i just wanted to just take a look at this old bridge and show you what it looked like it's super narrow but again it's not the bridge it's not the road it's what was what were those kids thinking when they hit the Florida line and they saw that they were almost to Orlando. As you can see, that is a narrow bridge. I've passed many of log trucks on this bridge and you don't want to be in a, a truck that's very big. See, watch, watch. There, those people just went to Florida. Isn't that cool? We're going to cross this bridge and check out the sign that says welcome to Florida or whatever it is and uh, talk for a few more minutes.
So this would be the first thing that they, people would see as they cross into Florida. There's a plaque right here that says that this, it says in memory of May Man Jennings, lover of beauty. Um, maybe this, I don't know, I think just this plaque was dedicated to her in 1966. But this retro looking background, this sign is old. This is no new sign. They've not updated this. They have put a fresh coat of paint on it, looks like maybe several years back. But this is the first thing that those those parents, those uh, those children would see as they travel into the Sunshine State, uh, up from the Arctic North or whatever off of US Highway 17. And it's just an intriguing, uh, it, it, I would have loved to as a kid ridden in the back of one of those big station wagons or just a big land yacht type of a car and seeing all these palm trees as they as they come into florida but i i just think that that is a uh a, a great thing i want to know from people who actually did this did you ever ride in the back of that big car see those uh see that uh sign go across this bridge anything like that there's other entrances to to florida obviously through Georgia um, before the interstate systems came to be. But what was it like? I'd love to go back. You know, we can't go back in time yet. Maybe they'll invent time machines one day. That's a, that's a total joke. But maybe one day we'll be able to go back and we'll be able to see what our parents, what our grandparents got to see. Maybe not experience, some experiences aren't so good. But anyway, I just think the, the, the sites, if you'll look Highway 17, if you'll do any study on it because of its, it's got a rich history. A lot of roadside hotels, restaurants that right locally, right, right up the road here, is an old restaurant that has been there since the 50s. Uh, these people had to play, have a place to eat. Uh, they had to play, have places to, to sleep. There were, there were uh, motor lodges or hotels as we call them today, all along this road. And I uh, just thought this would be a neat little thing to talk about. But just seeing those uh, old photographs and all, it makes me want to reminisce. And I don't even have that memory of doing anything like this. But you guys, appreciate you watching. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscription button. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, did you used to travel these U.S. inland roads or these roads prior to pre-interstate? Uh, what was it like? I know the traffic they said was awful. Just absolutely awful. Two lanes um, and the only way to go. And that was um, that would that would make for a terrible uh, traffic situation. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to get off that couch, go explore, go see things like an old sign beside a road that has a lot of significance. I'm a Georgia guy, but I see this sign and it brings back or it makes me think of what it would be like to live back in those days. So, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, hey, see you later. Bye.